Hello everybody, Free the Prennies here, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. In this episode, we're traversing Land's End. Let's see what exactly we can find here. Somewhere around here is supposed to be a hidden town of monsters? Huh, well, only one way to find out, we must press onward. These little cannons here will shoot us up to different locations. If you successfully get the timing right, unlike me. Whoa. Alright. Let's go ahead and take on some of these new enemies in the area here. Alright, we've got a Chow and we've got Shoguns. Pretty easy to deal with. Let's see, I believe that the Shoguns are affected by jump here. So yeah, it's a pretty nice way to take those guys out. They can hit pretty hard with a Carney Kiss ability, but other than that, not too bad. Go ahead and eliminate these guys. And in this battle here, we have another new enemy. We've got the Octovader. Uh, once again, a nice double rocket punch for Gino to that Chow's face. And then we go ahead and jump on the Octovader. Well, somehow managed to survive our attack, so we're going to go ahead and finish him off with the Hurley Gloves. And carry on through this area here. Well, after Mario reaches level 15, that is. Give him a nice little power boost, and then Mallow is going to join him as well. Congratulations, more power for you as well. Alright, now right around here somewhere is supposed to be a secret platform. I just gotta find it, come on. I know it's around here somewhere. Oh boy. Let's see. Come on. Gotta be right up here. Huh. Let's see. Oh, we'll figure this out. Ah, there it is. Right there. <laughs> After that nice little cut there. And what you want to do is you want to aim the cannon up here. And you'll actually jump up here. Grab yourself a nice little frog coin there. But also, right over here for a free Kiro Kiro Cola. Not too shabby. Alright, got a few new enemies in here as well. Two, actually. The Gekits and the Spinthra. Pretty uh, basic monsters as well, nothing too crazy. Although the Gekits have an interesting trait where they're confused sometimes. They'll actually hit themselves and fellow monsters as well, so... Doesn't usually do a lot of damage, but, you know, the little extra boost helps every now and then, I suppose. But they all go down none the same. I do believe that the spider, the spin throw there, I think it can poison you, but we didn't really give him a chance to do much of anything. And from that battle, we actually got a bracer. That actually boosts the defense of a party member. Now let's go ahead and clean up some of these guys here. Gotta get that experience, man. Alright, Gino reaches level 15. He's gonna get an attack boost as well. I think we've dealt with enough Gekkets, though, so let's move on. Oh god, not the bees again. Well, let's save our game before we tackle some of these bees over here. Oh boy. What you got over here? Come here, buddy. Hey, get back here. Go ahead, touch him. There we go. Alright, the stinger, it's called. Well, they do sting you, and they're also capable of causing the mushroom status with a fungus attack, so... I'm gonna take them out before they get a chance to do that, because uh, we don't want that to happen to us. Alright, Octovader. Oh boy, he's gonna hit Bowser with a gunk ball. What is with covering Bowser in nasty things? Very, very strange. That inflicts that uh, special ability on you where it takes away your specials, not that it help hurts Bowser at all, because he doesn't use his specials. And I think this may be the last new enemy around this part of the area, the flowers here. So, yeah, pretty easy to deal with, especially if Gino keeps getting once again. Fink flower, huh? Yeah, the rocket punch is pretty strong on these guys. I'm pretty sure they're just weak to physical attacks in general, because we're hitting pretty high. Alright, what do we got over this way? Oh, that's right. A missed opportunity up here. There's actually a cave up here that you can jump into when you see a little puff of smoke come out of it. But I totally pass it up. We'll get back to that later. We're not missing too much, I'm afraid, so... Alright, let's clear up some of these guys. Bowser gets a level up. Nice. Give him some more attack. Get some bees out of the way here and use these spinny flowers to uh, ascend to the top. Come here, Mr. B. Oh, and bounce in the wrong direction. Way to go, me. Hooray. All right, come on. 
You can do it. There we go. Come here. Oh, this guy. Hey, buddy. No, oh, Sky Bridge, huh? Now, I could challenge it, but I'm gonna pass because really the only rewards you can get are frog coins. And since I'm not really after too many frog coins right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and go across the bridge normally. There's that cave down there I was talking about. Hey, buddy, what do you got going on? Oh, I'm heading to, yeah, Monster Town, actually. That's exactly where I need to go. Oh, okay, more whirl sands, huh? This time, instead of the whirlpools. Okay, well, let's go ahead and save our game. Still in Land's End, but just a new segment of it, so. Now, what we're gonna do in this area here is actually there's these uh, ants that'll pop up, but we're gonna deal with these guys in a minute. Let's go ahead and take care of these guys in the area. What are you? A shy away, huh? And, uh, one shot, one kill. Hey, works for me. 30 coins, too. That's quite a bit. Oh, there's another new enemy right there in the middle. Criffid. Another one of those bush critters. So, well. Oh, nice. Got a lucky out of that one. These guys are uh, very musically inclined, apparently. What you doing to me, buddy? Oh, blocking my specials so Mario can't jump. Uh, that's okay. The troop of shell is more than enough damage to get rid of these guys. I'm go ahead and start focusing on Criffid here. What do you got for me, of course? Sandstorm. Anything to slow the battle down, right? Casting that fear status. Yeah, look at that. Pathetic damage. Well, let's try jumping on him. See what that'll do. Yeah, still pathetic. It's up to you, Bowser. Take care of this guy for us. Thank you very much. Not too shabby. Yeah, I could, but I already have plenty of coins. And Princess Peach over here, or Toadstool in this case, reaches level 15 and gains more power. Team's uh, leveling up quite nicely here. Now, what you want to do is you want to take these guys out. They're just normal Shoguns, like what we fought earlier. But then you immediately want to drop into the Whirl Sand that uh, they spawn out of, because... That's the one that'll keep progressing us further along. Okay, that guy's done. Oh, almost got me there. Nice try, game. Alright, this guy's pretty quick, but I think we can get him. Come here. Goodbye, Mr. Shogun. Give me that whirl sand. Alright, hey, there's a path up there. Well, before we take out this last guy, let's head on up here see what's going on. Yeah, it's that mouse guy again. Hey. Oh, you're telling me this is the edge of the world, huh? Oh, this truly must be where the land's in. The name makes sense now. Yeah, there's no getting up there right now. So let's go ahead and deal with this last Shogun. Continue forward. Mario reaches level 16. Gonna give him a nice boost to the HP. And then we're gonna dip into this Whirl Sand here. And this is gonna drop us underground. Awesome. Another save point. You can always uh, use a quick save every now and then. And down there is a treasure chest that we want to get. These little lizard guys, though. Ugh, boy. They tend to crowd around the treasure chest pretty often, but... Let's see if we can sneak in there and get that chest. Having to fight these guys uh, right now. Oh, boy. Look at them. Oh, man. Well, we might have to take out at least one of these guys, but they're just basic enemies, so... Hey, Mallow gets a level up. Nice. Way to go, dude. Now let's pop this chest open. Come on. There we go. Get it. There we go. Get us a nice superstar here. And we're just going to run through everything as quickly as possible. No new enemies in this area, so... Just get everything you can. Come on. Come on. Oh, just about. Nice. Hey, Gino gets a level up for his efforts. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, also Bowser. Cool. Come on, princess. Nope, not quite. Alright, let's jump on down here. Oh, there's a lot of these guys, but if you come back here, there's a secret guy hiding back here. Is it a star piece? Nope. But it's a superstar, which will be awesome for clearing this room out and getting all this free experience, so... Totally worth the 400 coins, especially with how quick we earn them, so... Go ahead and get all these guys. Come on. Literally just enough star power to do it. And also to give Princess... Her level 16. Nice. I think everybody's at level 16 now, so... 
where uh, progress is going great. All right, well, this guy right here, what do you want, buddy? Well, he'll open a shortcut for 100 coins, but I'm not ready to leave this area, so we're just going to carry on. What do you got to say, cloaked dude? Well, first let's grab these. Some nice coinage in there. Okay. What do you want, buddy? 50 coins for my fortune? Yeah, sure, why not? I'm rich. Now, what you can do is you can hit these in any order, and it'll give you a different result. So, I think the way that I'm going to hit them in this case is going to be from left, center, to right. Alright, what's my fortune? You'll have a great meal in the future. Huh, delicious. Spaghetti? Come on, spaghetti. It's gotta be. Plumber's favorite food. Nope. A healing mushroom, which is fine. We can use that after those last few fights. Let's go ahead and grab some more coins here. And this place is just loaded. What was this place called again? Did it say Belome's Temple? Didn't we fight a guy named Belome? Well, there's a secret frog coin. And another. And then if you come up here and you jump onto this treasure chest, you get yet another frog coin. So, sitting pretty on frog coins here. Oh boy, what's going on here? Oh, okay. Well, there's two fortunes here. We'll either run into Belome and Monster Town. What? Belome? I thought we did him in back in the sewers. Now, if you get this one, the sorry I'm not expecting visitors past my bedtime, and you come down here, there's a uh, doorway down here you'll go through, and it'll take you to this room right here. Give me the key, and I'll let you pass. Well, I don't have a key, so we'll have to remember that for later, everybody, because there's a lot of good stuff in that room, but uh, we can't quite get in there right now, so... That'll have to wait till later. Alright. Now, if you keep getting the same one, we're just going to keep entering and exiting. And then you'll want to get that one. Mmm, I'm so hungry. I wish I had something to eat. Sounds awfully familiar, doesn't it? Wow. I thought we did away with Balome once and for all. But, who knows? Maybe he is actually here. And sure enough, there he is in the flesh. Oh boy, that tongue gives me some bad vibes. All right, we're going to go ahead and switch Mallow and, and the Princess in for this fight here. Mallow needs to get another crack at uh, Belome again. But will we be able to defeat him this time, or will we get licked? Find out on the next episode, Pretty Squad. See you guys later.